Welcome to the Virtual Training Company's Ethical Hacking and Penetration Testing course. My name is Brad Causey, and I'll be working closely with your co-author, Bobby Rogers, to explain some of the exciting new developments in penetration testing and performing vulnerability assessment in the networks and on operating systems that you might find in today's environments. So that's going to be the basic topic throughout our course, which are basically going to take us from taking the security and the defense methodologies and kind of turning them in reverse so that we can use our attack skills to try to reverse engineer the defenses that we might usually find on a network. This should allow us the insight of the hacker mentality and allow us to better develop our security systems so that we can protect ourselves from malicious activity. First, let's take a few moments and look at some of the material that we'll be covering. In the very first chapter, we're going to cover the basics. We're going to talk about the concept behind ethical hacking, what the methodologies are that are actually involved there, and then we'll actually move into some of the activities and concepts that you will actually be performing in the field when doing penetration testing and vulnerability assessment. The first of which is reconnaissance. We're going to spend some time talking about doing your research and basically just footprinting the company or the network that you plan on performing ethical hacking against. Next, we'll talk about scanning. Scanning is a little bit more active than reconnaissance and actually will go through and give you a more accurate picture of what you might find in the network or what you might find running on particular hosts in that network. Next, we'll move on to service enumeration, which is going to give us even more detailed operating system information and application information about what we might find running on various computers in the network. Then we'll go into a little bit more technical detail and move into vulnerability assessment and exploitation. This is actually the point where you have as much information as you need and you close in on a target, find out what vulnerabilities exist, and exploit those vulnerabilities to gain access to those systems. And this is really where the weakness is usually pointed out in most networks. So this is kind of the highlight, if you will, of the overall process. Now, after we've gained access to that system, we need to understand the differences in the concepts behind penetrating the system or the network, gaining access to that, and also what is involved in the compromise of a system. Now, once we've identified those vulnerabilities, exploited any vulnerabilities that exist, we've gained access to the system, effectively compromising it, now we actually get to perform actions against our newly found system. These different things can include items such as privilege escalation, where we can bump ourselves up to system administrator or possibly root. And owning the box is basically a slang term for using the box for things that you want to. In other words, doing things with that machine that weren't normally intended when that machine was installed. After we've been able to get onto the machine and do what we wish, our next goal is going to be to evade any defenses that exist and try to erase our tracks, effectively acting as a ghost or a shadow on the network so we can maintain our access as long as possible, which is actually going to be our next area that we'll cover. So maintaining and then possibly using previous compromises and exploitations to produce even more access. So once we have our box owned, we're going to want to expand that out and get as many as we can on that network, because most likely a network with one vulnerability is going to have a lot more. And in wrapping things up, we're going to go into a little bit of off-topic stuff, such as some special hacking topics, such as steganography and encryption, that will come into play and be a factor when you're performing these vulnerability assessments. We'll also cover some popular tools that you might use in your travels as an ethical hacker. We'll cover some of the outstanding exams that exist if you plan on getting certified. And finally, we'll discuss a little bit more about my background and Bobby's background. So this should give you a pretty good idea of what we plan on covering throughout our course. I hope you enjoy the course and look forward to working with you.